Hey guys, welcome back. Drip Coach here with Drip and Farm for Property, where we don't trust, we verify and operate with integrity and transparency. Today, diving into an update I haven't done in a while from Gareth Soloway in Bitcoin slash where we're at this stage and where we could be bearish or bullish. Stay tuned for his thoughts on the issue. I told you guys this would be a volatile period. Uh, right now, as of this video, it is the afternoon of the fourth Monday. You guys will be seeing it Monday morning. And of course, the election is not over yet. And depending on which side you lean, both sides are saying they have won. So, and also what media you listen to it can be a landslide on one side, a landslide on another. But either way, Bitcoin has properly or the crypto market has properly sussed itself out with literally right in the middle because nobody knows what the hell is gonna happen. Now, it's been a while since I brought up any content on Gareth, so I wanted to bring that up. But we had Bitcoin doing a short rally uh, a couple days ago, back off to the 70-ish rain. Yeah, that was on the first. So we ended October, you know, above the 70s. And then we wake back down to 67. And Gareth will break down his take on where we're headed. Kind of a bullish bearish scenario based on based on support levels and the resistance levels. All right, that's, that's the idea behind it. So that's why you want to pay attention to that. Okay. Um, let's go to Bitcoin real quick. I want to just flip over to Bitcoin. Let's get you some of these. Bitcoin retraced into technical support. Notice former pivot high where it pulled back to the scene of the crime. That now becomes technical support. You broke up. You touched your double top right up here from March. It got rejected. This technically is a viable level on Bitcoin. All right. So again, I would expect Bitcoin to trade up and maybe retest or even pierce 74,000. Now, if by chance Bitcoin falls and confirms below this line, that would be very bad for Bitcoin. As of now, even if it trades below this line, it's still it's still technically a buy. It's just the probabilities are not as good. So let's talk probabilities here, guys. As long as Bitcoin doesn't confirm below this line now, 80% chance it breaks up and makes, let's say, a 74,000, 75,000 high, right? I don't know how high it'll go, but the idea is 80% upside probability. If it confirms below, but, but stays between this line and this line, 60%. 60% bullishness, 40% bearishness. If it breaks and confirms here, now all of a sudden only 40% bullish and 60 bearish. So you see how each... All right, wanted to use him as the PA expert, so that's definitely not my field, but you can see basically the levels he put in here is like 64K to basically 70K and 70 all the way back up to the all time high. I have similar levels on my chart. Uh, all time high, depending on again, which chart you're at 73, 73 and some change, 74, whatever. Then I got like a couple of the all time highs that were resistance and support that hit back in April and June. And then support and resistance around 70 level again. And then this target here goes out to like 64 and some change. So basically, where we're sitting at now, we have confirmed below that level he mentioned, which puts us in that 60 40 category going below 64 and I think I start all the way out to 52. I don't know what the next level is actually there. Down here he's got 52 and 64. So I don't know if we get there or not, but remember I told you guys the main thing to focus on is this is still a buying opportunity. We are still in the bull run. We already hit previous all time highs from the last cycle. Remember that was 67. We have hit above 67 multiple times this year already. So the next stop everybody's looking at is in the 80s. And then, of course, 100K for the typical market resistance for whole numbers. When we get there, have no idea. It can literally happen overnight. But like I said, expect volatility. So what Gareth is saying is if we close below these levels, which we did, then it's 60-40. So 60% bullish, 40% bearish. And we can see what happens again at the election because like we are just barely below these levels as of right now so 
Um, we'll find out what happens on the 5th, because that's really where things will heat up. Actually, I think it'll actually be the, I don't know. I can't really say it's going to be on the 5th specifically, but remember also on the 7th, we have the FNO, FOMC meeting with the Fed, and then the market is pricing in um, according to uh, Forbes, the market is pricing in another 25% rate cut or 0.25, sorry, 0.25, 25 would be crazy. Uh, so that's what they're expecting. We will see what happens with that. And of course, the market will react accordingly. So all of that is going to give us what will take place at the end of this, by the end of this week. So you will definitely have confirmation going into Friday what the cards hold because Wednesday, Thursday is the FOMC meeting and Tuesday is the election. So Friday, we should have everything kind of laid out on the charts as to what to expect. So either way, um, I think I heard somebody else say, yeah, if you have cash right now, just hold on to it. <laughs> There's no reason to jump into anything because um, unless you're really good at TA, but there's uh, I don't know. To me, the market's clean either way, even if you do uh, some technical analysis. And like Garrett says, it's not black or white, it's gray and different shades of gray, depending on how things shake up. So there's too many big global things coming into play, or at least US based things in play for this week that you could have some amazing opportunity to uh, get Bitcoin on discount and, of course, your alts because. We have not hit um, altcoin season just yet based on Bitcoin dominance. And last person who said that's still a couple of weeks to months out, maybe around February to March time frame. So even if you got bags on the sidelines or alls, you may get a better buying opportunity after all this shakes up and we get into January. So um, that's all I got for this one. Just sharing you some that information from those that know better according to TA and see if that can provide some insights for you guys on what you're doing. All right, smash that HBO special, help a brother out, like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and if you're possible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.